okay everyone welcome back to the channel today we're back on gt sport for the update 1.19 has arrived today obviously bringing with it three group c race cars classic cars the jaguar the nissan and the mercedes great cars along with it the renault megan sport and some road cars as well i'm really looking forward to the megan trophy um, sport car that's a really nice car and it's been put into the group four cars along with that we obviously have the circuit de la Sarf, as predicted a while ago on my channel and the some extra league races for the the single player campaign mode along with it circuit experience for obviously last month's track that got added in has been added into circuit experience some extra escapes and some uh, museum stuff some stuff that i don't really not really interested in all this stuff i'm more interested in the circuit de la Sarf and the new cars that have been added in so what we're going to do first up we're going to have a little look at the basic information in this patch that has arrived along with the obviously the new tracks and the cars they've added in the, the some extra stuff within sport mode which i'm going to go through now and um, basically what this is is new login features for the game um, which is going to be used for championships by the looks of it so you're going to be putting in your details your age whereabouts you live i mean it actually goes quite in depth into where you live i've obviously put mine in and it goes into like little local areas so there's going to be some obviously different leaderboards in terms of where you're about your location and i'm guessing there's going to be some new championships added in based on age i've heard something about over 35s and you're over 50 competitions stuff like this so it's going a little bit like i racing i racing has a separate um championship for people over the age of 60 or something like that i believe and this is quite good because i think there's going to be a lot more variety in the championships that are going to be added into the game it looks like there's not just going to be a sole um, purpose onto the FIA, like just concentrating on the FIA, FIA events. It looks like there's going to be added variety in terms of the champions we're going to be able to race in. So hopefully we're going to have more races to race every day rather than just your basic daily races. It looks like there's going to be multiple championships um, going on, which I think we're going to have to wait for a while before they start because it's completely blank the calendar at the moment. But there's also been some other improvements, some very vague improvements just to do with adjustments to the engine sound and um the garage limit has been increased the th the thrustmaster gear gear stick has been altered slightly which i'll have to try that out and um, when i first tried out it, it doesn't it didn't work very well at all but i will try that back out obviously they've also added the ability to increase tire wear and stuff from 10 to 30 times 30 in the lobby setting so that brings in a line with um the FIA events because sometimes when you try to practice for an FIA event you couldn't match the settings that were in the FIA event if in a private lobby so first up we have the new cars and this is the main thing that's been added in obviously the group C cars you can see there the Nissan 1 million that's they're all 1 million so these have been added into the group 1 cars which I'm not too happy about I, I don't think that's the right move personally I think these cars the Jaguar you can see there 1 million as well should have all been added into a separate class because i don't really want to be racing these cars against prototype and concept cars and modern day cars it doesn't feel right for me these could have could have been such a good class just these three cars we wouldn't have needed any more for now you know they could have added some more in in the future but these three cars on their own would have made such a nice class of car to be racing with but they've decided against it it's a strange decision but that's the way they've gone and then the next car which i'm going to road test these are the four cars that i'm going to road test prioritize on it's a group four mcgann i'm looking forward to driving that's one of my favorite cars it's like, i love the look of it it's so aggressive and it's going to make the renault selection a little bit more interesting in the fi events so that's the four cars i'm going to road test after we're going to do some videos today hopefully get all them four cars road tested and brought out on the channel today so first up i wanted to do a lap at le mans in a modern day lmp car this is taken from the sport mode at the moment. I just did a, this is my first lap. You can see I've not set a, a time at all at this point. The track is nice. There is some things that don't seem quite 100% to myself, but I did enjoy driving it. It's a great track and it's thoroughly enjoyable. Hopefully they're gonna add in the extra, the circuit that goes right there in the future as added on you know, track into the game. It would be nice because I do like that track and um, hopefully they'll add that in. As you can see there now, really attacking these corners. And this is one of the areas which I, it seems too smooth for me. And now it sounds like a, a pointless thing to say, but I played it on iRacing and other games, and this straight is really bumpy on them games. But just look how silky smooth it is on um, GT Sport. It could do with having a little bit more um, bumps on this, I feel. Make it feel a little bit more authentic. I don't believe it's as smooth as that going down this straight. You know, this isn't a race circuit, this is a road used in real life, and it looks a little bit too smooth for me. But whether, whether it's just like, 
I'm not too sure. I mean, it's point. It's not a massive concern, obviously, because the, the track is great fun to drive. I do enjoy it. The, like this lap isn't perfect. You can see there. Really important to get good, good, strong exits from these corners. This lap is just to jump on, give you guys some um, footage of the, the track and how it's running, etc. I wanted to use this car. It's on the, the sport mode at the moment. I will probably go to see what the cars, the strongest cars are. But this car, I love driving this Porsche. You can see there, go, I really like this corner. You have to really get it into the apex on the right side. You can see I slightly missed that there, compromise the exit slightly. And then you go into the really tricky right-hand corner, especially in these LMP1 cars, because you're carrying so much speed now approaching this right hand this pretty much a 90 degree right hand corner and you start braking pretty much on the first kink on this corner now about there i braked a little bit too early took it quite cautiously you can see there there's probably about half a second extra in that corner where i really did just be just overly cautious just to get this lap in and then you can see there going into this really fat you're coming up now to the really fast right hand corner which then you're going to be braking midway through the corner so you can see hitting seventh gear approaching speeds of up to 200 miles per hour as we go into this right hand corner up here now you can see they're 199 200 miles an hour and over 200 miles an hour as we go to this really fast right hand corner you see i downshift it and then you're braking straight away down is third gear and again took that very easy this corner now but then this corner i pushed a little bit too hard into this corner braked fractionally too late and you can see i missed the apex and I had to run quite a bit wide luckily didn't um, invalidate the lap which i was quite surprised about because this track on gt sport is extreme with the uh, penalties just to warn you the track limits are extremely harsh so I, I think that a lot of people are going to lose a lot of um, safety rating in this race if they do it today because the, some of the track limits if you run wide by millimeters it will give you like a four second penalty and stuff which is fair enough but I think there's better ways of doing that hopefully they can sort this penalty system out at, at some point there's no mention of any changes in the penalty system on the patch notes whether that means it has been or not, I, I don't know. You know, we'll have to look into it. I'm not going to take people's opinions straight away because I know every time a patch comes out, people say it's fixed and stuff like this, and it, it's just not. I think people have one good race and just think that the penalty systems are um, fixed. As you can see there, we ran really wide into that chicane as well. So probably a good few seconds left in this lap. It wasn't a spectacular lap, you can see there. Just over 3 minutes 23. I think this car should be able to get down to a 20s, maybe creep into a 19s. I'm not too sure. It doesn't look like... The strongest, tra the strongest car for this track at the moment, but um, it seems like the Audi is one of the stronger cars which is getting used at the moment. But I'm guessing not everyone's tested out all the cars here yet. It'll probably take a, a few hours before you'll start seeing a trend on what car is going to be stronger here. But I'm going to probably do try, I'm going to try and get this race done today and uploaded either today or tomorrow. The race might be um, uploaded tomorrow. Hopefully I can get a good race here. I, I'm just going to try and concentrate on not getting any track limits. You can see if you run out wide, I pretty much ran the limits as far as you can on that corner there. If you run, run even an inch on your rear left tire, um, outside onto the curb and a bit too far it invalidates the lap it's a little bit too strict this corner here is very strict as well with this really fast right hand but that's kind of fair enough because there's advantages to be gained if you cut that corner and you know it's similar to i racing that corner on i racing is very strict but obviously i racing just gives you a times one penalty it doesn't actually it doesn't like give you a penalty to lap time you're like not saying you have to stop for two seconds it'll just give you a times one where you have 17 accumulations and then you're disqualified from the race which is a bit fair away to do it but whether gt sport will ever go down that is another question anyway i hope you enjoyed this video it's just a brief update just going through the stuff that's um been added into the game and the new features and stuff it's not as in-depth as i would have liked this um patch I, I did expect the tire model to be added in on this because they used it in the fie event however they've obviously might my theory behind why they haven't added it in could be something to do with the weather. Um, my guess is possibly that they're waiting to release a new tyre model for when they add in the new weather um, patch, which will cover adding wet weather into obviously tracks that will get wet, wet, wet weather in real life. And it kind of makes sense that they're doing that because there's no point adding a new tyre model in until they've obviously got the wet model sorted so that they can test it out on the wet the wet tracks etc they don't want to be adding in the new tire model then do the wet weather and find it's not quite there so that's my guess as to why it's not been in and hopefully maybe next month's patch or the month after we'll get the tire model with the wet weather that would be a really nice update to have both of them sorted at once and hopefully I, i'm praying that something's been done with the penalty system or it's even slightly better because you know it's worrying that i've heard reports that, that they think it's fine and some people are saying they said they were going to change it. It seems conflicting, but 
I, I really hope they do something with the penalty system because GT Sport is in danger of losing a lot of players if they don't fix this penalty system because it's a little bit too strict in my view. You can't really race at the moment, but you can still have great races. You know, you've witnessed it on my channel, but it's still a little bit overly um, aggressive in the way it's given out penalties. You can see they're run really wide on that corner. And again, this track looks absolutely amazing on the replay cameras. So I'm really looking forward to getting a race done on this. And I'm just praying that I don't lose a lot of rating because it's a track that's going to probably be at risk of it with the slipstream and the, the really you know heavy braking zones it's going to probably this is going to be probably similar to monza in terms of how much it's going to kill your dr if you have a bad race so it's going to be a case of get out front keep it clean keep it in the track limits and try not to get any penalties anyway i'm going to get the group group c cars hopefully test driven and uploaded today in a separate video i i'm not too sure which tracks i'll do them at i want to try and do them all at the same track it probably would be best to do them at this track because that's the track that they're uh, kind of suited to you know everyone wants to see what they're like at this track so i might do it at this track again just give them a test drive while i'm in sport mode anyway guys thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Click that notification button so you don't miss any future videos. I'm obviously uploading every single day on GT Sport and today's going to be quite a big day. I'm going to try and do at least two to three videos on GT Sport with obviously test driving the new um, cars that have been added in. And I'll do the Megan GR4 in a separate video test driving that at a different track. Obviously, I'm not going to go to Le Mans for that car. I'll probably go to something a little bit more twisty and a little bit more technical for that car. And I'm really, in I'm really interested to see how that car drives and what the BOP is like. Hopefully, they've got it pretty much okay. It's going to be really interesting, though, with obviously Renault now having a strong Group 4 car that could be strong at multiple tracks. So I'll be testing that out and seeing what it's like. Anyway, thanks again for watching this video, and we'll be back very soon.